What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Derek Brand Productions for another video. Our buddy Chris stopped by with old girl Hades. He wanted to go and get a Meteor tire setup thrown on the car, which I can't blame him because that was going to be what I was going to do next because I think the rears were like 285s and now he's going to be throwing some big girls on there, some 305s. So first time I've seen the car since it left. Kind of sad, not going to lie, but Chris did make some changes and the car is still looking good. We're going to go ahead and remote start the mock. Oh, that's right, I forgot. But nah, here she is, boys. Good old Hades. She's back. She still looks really, really good. I'm gonna give you guys a quick little walk around of the car. I'm not gonna tell you what he changed up. I want you guys to look and then comment down below. Obviously, I'll go and tell you guys and show you what he changed up, but go ahead, take a quick little peek and let me know what you think it was. We can go ahead and cut this off. If you didn't notice though, Chris did change up a couple things on the car just to make it more user friendly and driving without having to worry about being too low or you know not being able to see. He actually went ahead and removed the bottom lip on the Mach 1 bumper, which, you know, in my opinion, I think it still looks really good. The front end, you know, it just looks like a, it looks like it has a PP lip on it and it looks good. It looks really good. And then he went ahead and removed the 30 or the 20% windshield tint, which, you know, 20%, it is kind of excessive. It's very, very dark, which, you know, driving at night isn't ideal whatsoever, but old girl is looking good and it is super cool that, you know, he can just pop on by. He's only like an hour away see the car and whatnot. So Jordan here just got done installing some Eibach Pro Series on the car. Just to raise it up a little bit, you can get a little idea of the fitment compared to the old springs that were on the car, which are the Eibach Sports. I think these springs are like the ones that lower the cars the most on a non-Magna ride car with the IRS. So these are for sale, by the way, if anybody's local or anybody needs them. Again, they are the Eibach Sports springs. These lower the car you know, with Hades' old setup, so he has all four. All the ones are right there. Hundred dollars. If somebody wants them, come pick them up. I was just telling Chris, I love the Mach One, but I do miss Hades a little bit. There are, you know, certain attributes to this car that you just you can't go wrong with, especially the the ten R eighty, the full bolt on E. Definitely a fun car, and I know he's enjoying it. Super exciting, just not far, and I get to see the car still, so that looks sick though. Got the lineup. Yeah, got the lineup. Got the lineup. Oh, it hurts my heart because I, I was telling him I wish I could have both. I really do. I love that car. I love it, but he, he's enjoying it. He's taking great care of it. And he's, you know, he's whipping some Camaro ass and stuff, so it's <laughs> it's all good. He's you know passing the torch, but they look sick though. Jeez. Yeah, that looks so sick. I gotta take some photos of this. <laughs> yeah, that looks so good. In oh yeah. What's good, bro? What's good? What's not good is we have to reschedule our Charlotte trip. Yeah, because look at this weather. Terrible. Can't even make it up, bro. The one time we get all the boys together in the cars, it's supposed to rain for what, seven days or something? Six yeah. days? A while. It's crazy. I know I mentioned in one of the last videos that we were going to attend Streetcar Takeover in Charlotte. It would have been myself with Lucifer, Brandon with Minion, and Jake with Apollo. We are all getting the cars ready. You guys had a hotel booked. Yeah. 
Um, you know, Romina and I were gonna stay at my mom. She lives uh, really close. We happened to check the weather and it was calling for a crazy amount of rain. Now, is there a possibility it might blow over? Of course, but the way I was looking at it, and it's kind of a blessing in disguise, which I'm gonna touch base on as to why that is, but it's pouring rain. One, Blucifer was going down on the radials. Two, Blucifer is on an open blower setup, and three, Blucifer's hood vents are now 100% active, therefore a ton of water could go through the hood. And driving that car just in pouring rain on purpose, it just, that's stupid in my opinion. So the reason why it's a blessing in disguise is because the other day, um, for the hell of it, I was driving Blucifer and I decided to do a little pull just to, you know, because it's been a minute. So I just had it in third gear, got it up to about 4,000, smacked it, shifted in the fourth, and the whole car like stayed still. And I smelled clutch. So. I think the Vengeance twin disc that's currently in the car is on its way out. And that clutch was actually rated for 700 wheel. And with Lucifer's older setup, the Gen 3R with E85, the car was making more than that. So there is a possibility that, you know, it just, I don't know, ran out of life. But the good thing is I called my buddies over at Vengeance and they're getting it taken care of. We have a beefier twin disc on the way, which never ends guys this car stuff never ends now we have to put a clutch in lucifer welcome to the life been there done that for yeah the past six months. that's true it's true but we're gonna we're gonna reschedule this charlotte trip and it's gonna be fun yes it is we're gonna reschedule this charlotte trip and it's gonna be us three yet again um this time i'm going to take the mach 1 because the mach 1 will actually be full bolt on e85 lun tuned ready to rock and i'm going to talk to our boys over at power curve we're going to try to get there either Wednesday night or Thursday, same plan that was this week. And then on Friday, I'm gonna talk with Power Curve and I'm hoping we can throw a banger meet at Power Curve and even get the cars on the dyno. I know for a fact, if we can, the mock is going on the dyno because I wanna see what it makes to the wheels with E85 because I'm gonna go down on E and come back on E. I have all the, like, the stations and stops in between, so it's perfect. Would you put this on the dyno? Just for the hell of it? I mean, you've already done that, yeah. though. You've already done that. I haven't changed anything since we've done it. Yeah, you've already done it. I would say if we can get you on E before then, but I don't know. That's kind of a that's yeah. tall order. Yeah. But Brandon here is actually you're back on the grind, man. Yes, sir. I saw you just posted a video yesterday. Yes, sir. What'd you post? Reviewing the Mach 1. Yeah, how'd it go? Uh, pretty good. Yeah? I feel like it was pretty well. Did you did you like rewatch it? Be like, oh, I should have did this or that different. I haven't rewatched it besides editing it, but there's a couple things I could have done said said or done differently. Oh, well, it's a learning curve, brother. Yeah. I'm trying to make this a better viewing experience for you all. So I got this Sony lens. It's a wide angle. It's a G lens, better glass and everything. But the damn thing doesn't have lens stabilization like the one I currently have on. So it is shaky as hell. So I'm gonna go take this back. And I'm still back to the drawing board as to what I want to do camera-wise. Got a beautiful Z right there. I want one of those so bad, dude. I do too after driving them. I can't. I've, driven, I've never driven a Z. I've driven that exact car. Oh, really? That's one from Chevy? Yeah. That thing is sick. They sold it, I guess, yesterday or today. I absolutely love that spec. I'm not even going to front. I just like the chrome wheels. I don't I think, think it, it looks bad. Got, it's got a yellow uh, calipers and the Z06 badge on the fenders in yellow. Mm. Testing one, two, testing one, two. Watch this be fucking super duper wobbly. I am very excited though to have Maverick all dialed in at the end of this weekend and we do have some races lined up so the full bolt on E85 if you want to consider that. I'm not changing out the manifold or the intake because they are 350 components but we do have races locked in and I think it's going to be some really good runs and I'm just excited to see how the Mach 1 performs with the Tremont. If you're looking forward to that drop a like up on this video we're going to make it happen and I cannot wait to get some seat time in this thing. In the meantime though it's time to break the bank with these absurd gas prices still. That's ridiculous. Do you guys remember the days where premium gas was like, what, $2.80 or something like that? I do. Those were the days.
With Maverick here, I actually have an RTD device, and for those of you that don't know, this is kind of like the new new when it comes to tuning devices in this industry. These are with HP tuners, and essentially you can do absolutely everything with your tuner from your phone, which is really cool. So it's an OBD2 uh, plug-in. It's like a you know little box. You pop it in. It connects directly to your phone via Bluetooth, and your tuner and stuff can actually send tunes. You can data log. You can send data logs all from your phone which is sick because if you know the SETs the edge gauges and stuff it all requires like a laptop or a computer desktop whatever you do your data logging blah 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 record it on the device or if you're SCT that you're even more down bad because you can only record one tune on an SCT and then download it to the computer so typically you'd have your SCT slapped up to a laptop in your passenger seat and it, it's just a mess it sucks I'm so glad we're going away from that old technology and you know we're now on the RTD so I'm gonna use this and let you guys know how I like it but my boy Sebastian just got done using the RTD with Lund and it was easy breezy and that car absolutely moves out so we're gonna give it a go getting the Lund sauce with the RTD on Maverick cooks one and seven eighths this thing is going to be a riot and I am here for it because the stock life and you know not being able to rev out and just feeling kind of slow Days are numbered, baby. Days are numbered. But all right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video. It was awesome seeing Hades, and it's super cool because Chris and I are actually really good friends now. We will get Maverick and Hades together for a video promise you that this is the last time you will see it in the stock form and surgery starts tomorrow morning got some really really cool stuff going on the car we are changing up the suspension yet again but the parts we are throwing on are from our friends over at Steeda. chris thank you so much man for making this happen and i'll touch more on that when that time comes so new suspension for the car we have the long tubes we have an oil change coming we got an alignment coming and a fresh tune on 93 and e85 so old maverick here is going to absolutely rip i just want to thank you all so much for tapping into the channel guys drop a like up on this video subscribe if you're not subscribed already make sure you text the dbp squad phone 804-837-1293 i am trying to respond to everybody guys there is legit a ton of you i'm just a one-man band here trying to reach out to everybody so it is going to take some time be patient i am not ignoring you but until then guys we will catch you monday 8 p.m eastern time for another video but until next time We'll see you later.